Hey guys, we're back in the garage today, and today I'm going to be doing the inner and outer cab corners on my 55 Chevy pickup. So, I will be doing the driver's side today. I've already done the passenger side. Um, and I'll be showing you guys how to also do the driver's side cab corner on your 55 pickup if you have one. Alright, let's get started. All right, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to cut out the tab corner. So I'll probably end up cutting out along this line right here and then cutting over and off and then disconnecting everything that's underneath. Uh, as you can see, this is full of Bondo and it looks like crap. So we're going to be replacing it like that side with brand new metal. Alright, so we will be going from underneath here, we'll be taking off all of the spot welds in this little here, up here, I'll get a light really quick. Alright, so we will be cutting out that seam right there, we'll be getting all the pinch welds off of it, and then up top, up here. We will be getting all of the uh, nose welds off around, around here. And right here we'll undo this one. And then back here we'll be undoing this one. Man. Look at all that stuff that's inside of it. All this is getting replaced, so it doesn't really matter how I bend it. But. <clears throat> it's connected on this back lip right here. Like right here. I'm just gonna go and cut it right here really quick. All right, so the camera died, uh, but I ended up making a cut and this now moves. All right, so what we're gonna do really quick is we are going to cut it across all the way through, even through the inner, through right here really quick and down, just so it's easier to get to the edges and get everything off.
So we'll be taking out all these spot welds all up in here, throughout here. And then up top, we'll be doing the same thing, just along the edge. So then, and I'll, I'll end up cutting this along this line of the old one, and then uh, cutting the new one about here, just tucking it under and welding it down. So this is all disconnected here, up top, all through there. So now we will move to the inside and get all of that undone. All right, so the camera died, but I made a cut across here and then cut up a little bit right here. And this thing is pretty loose. I should be able to shake it back and forth until this little spot right there comes undone. I'm going to clean up this edge right here. I'm going to clean up this edge right here. Straighten it back out, lift it a little bit so that I can slide my new one in between it. And then I'll also have to cut this about up here, at least all the way across so that I can then go and put my new one in without having any issues. All right, so we ran the line back here so I can go and get to this. Uh, I'm just gonna go and spin that off really quick. That's off. Now I can go and maybe have to cut this a little, about an inch back farther, uh, but then I should be able to fit my new piece across. I'm gonna clean this edge up right here and we should be good to go. All right, so right now I'm going to undo the pinch welds here on this so that uh, I go and then cut that off, clean this edge up. All right, so we use this on this edge to go and get the spot welds. Uh, so this is nice and clean now. I will go and th uh, throw some weld through primer on it. Uh, this, I ended up cutting off the little lip that was on it. We're going to cut this right here, along right here, just a nice straight cut. And then uh, that, this part will then uh, slide under this lip right here. So, but you'll see. Okay, so I had to go and trim this little piece. There's a little tiny lip that like slips under but unfortunately with these aftermarket panels uh they don't fit perfectly so i had to trim this little bit it's sitting flush right here up against which is perfect and it's sitting flat right there and it's sitting flat right here perfectly and there it's sitting good i did tap this with a hammer a little bit right here because it was sitting high with this little spot it wasn't fitting as good so i just tapped it right here it slid perfectly into its spot afterwards um now i can push this piece back down and then 
drill holes through it so I can weld it down. And then I'll drill holes uh, here, 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 and here, here, and weld those up. And same with in, under the bottom. I'll go and do it across here, but on the inside, you'll see on the lip. I'll go and be doing it right there along that lip and on the back. Okay, so I ground down the edges, painted it with uh, weld through primer, put some Clecos in to hold it in place. Um, <laughs> painted all in here with the weld through primer on the edge inside and I made some holes so that I can then weld it on so I'm gonna start welding it down here and then I'll go throughout the top to finish welding it all right so I set the new panel on fits really good so what I'm going to do is put it where it needs to be and mark it with a marker and then cut off even with it so then it sits flush with it the inside still fitting perfectly with the outside on everything is fitting where it should be all right so we got the it all tacked in we even got the mount for the body to be able to bolt it on weld it up because it was loose I'll weld it up so I'll weld it up in there all right so now I set this up with a Clico you can see that's a little long right here but uh, I'll end up going and cutting it with the wheel a straight line down and then I had my brother tack this while I went and lined this up and then there's a dent right here that I'll straighten out and then tack it here and then I went and held it and had my brother go and tack it as we went so it's pretty straight uh, and then obviously we'll skim coat it and it'll look real good all right guys so the rear cab patch panel is in it's all tacked in looking good and there you go and there's a how to on how to put in a 55 to 59 chevy rear cab patch panel